All right, let's try this again. Hello and what is up, Internet? Cliff B here once again streaming some more Forza Horizon 4. So I have to stop and restart my stream because Twitch was just giving me a black screen and recording nothing. I really think I should maybe use another recording software because I'm trying like AMD 3 Live. I'm not sure if they just messed something up in the drivers or just decided not to give an F anymore. But it's like, it's been messing up horribly for me. And like, slowly but surely, like, just losing my mind with it. Anyway, so where we last left off, uh, um, I basically just did random things, talk to you guys, which by the way, if you're in chat watching this live, say something in chat at any time, I do like, you know, constantly look back and forth, which is why I'm always running into something, because I do want to interact with my audience and not just like, you know, ignore them as I play the game. Also, chat among yourself as well, because, you know, there are people here. Talk to them. What Make a friend. So? It's like, what else are you going to do during quarantine? But yeah, I am trying my best to provide some form of entertainment, something to break up your day-to-day -day life, so properly boring this. I mean, some of you may be watching this and you're essential workers, so, you know, quarantine for you is just like, you go out, you do your job, you worry about whether or not you caught it or not. But while quarantine for others is just being poured out of their damn minds as they literally have nothing to do. And it's like pretty much like full on lockdown is starting to be engaged in certain areas. Like for instance, um, where I live, because people kept breaking like the quarantine, the mayor and the governors are still like, both losing their effing minds. And now they're thinking about closing down like essential businesses just to prevent people from going outside enforcing a curfew where people have to be indoors by eight increasing fines because all they're going to do is find you and right now if you don't have a job because or you do have a job but your hours have been extremely reduced due to you know the world at large you know a fine of like some 500 600 dollars that's going to do some damage right now but yeah so rather than focusing on that stuff just you know enjoy the stream Enjoy the stream, have fun, play some video games. Technically, you know, the World Health Organization does consider people who just play video games to be a responsible adult right now. Even though they did label video gaming as an addiction that a person should uh, seek therapy over. It's amazing how the world changes in like four years, I guess. But other than that... Oh, that is the point of these streams, are just to entertain. This provides, you know, more stuff to watch, a different person to watch. I realize my microphone is too far away, so I'm gonna have an amazing amount of lips, and you guys are probably can't even understand me. Hold the F on. Oh boy. Um, don't unplug the mic, don't unplug the mic, don't unplug the mic, don't unplug the mic. Okay, I was able to move the mic without unplugging it. Praise me. Oh, right there. Right. Let me go ahead and tweet the stream just in case.
stream and hold on just gonna check something real quick that looks good yeah that's gonna stay the same you have arrived at your destination and let's go ahead and do some dirt racing also in the downtime between like the last stream and this stream I went ahead and like um Oh crap, no, there's music. Oh crap, ah crap. Well, this video is being copyright claimed. I could have sworn I'd bring you off right now. Anything in there? Should you enter? No. Dang it. Respect my decision to have music turn off, game. And there's still music going on in the background. Oh my gosh. So the reason why I'm having the music go off is because every time I post like this vlog or the vlogs to like YouTube, they get copyright claims immediately. And it doesn't matter if I use streamer mode or don't use streamer mode. Any music, copyrights, claims, that's it. Even though I can't even monetize the videos, I don't have enough subscribers on YouTube to do that or watch hours. I still don't like the fact that some jackass is just like, you know, any views that this get, any money that it makes is going to like, some jackass. Rather than me. Like, if I can't make money off it, no one can. That type of situation. But it's like, yeah. Also, I'm a bit worried about how, like, the copyright claims might be affecting my ability to, like, if I ever get enough views to monetize my videos in the future. Well, not only views, but subscribers as well. I would love to be able to pass this crowd here, but it's like, they are not separating from their packs, you know? It's just, like, one giant blob, but it's always, like, just in front of me. And the strange thing is, like, I tune this car for, like, off-road performance, but I cannot catch up to this crowd whatsoever here. Like, I'm not sure if these are real-life people, or what. Oh, finally! Well, that was one way to steal third place. Guy crashed into me! Are these black people? Or no, they're driver tires. They're just... Bots imitating people, so they're not real life. Oh my gosh, that trip looked amazing. But yeah, so this is a car I actually went, tuned, and retuned, just so I can get some better off-road performance from it. I am happy with it. By the way, I am sh sharing, like, all my tunes and, like, library kits. So if you see something you like and you're like, I would like that. Well, if you look for uh, Forza uh, um, Library or just Forza B1G, because I'm making all my mods that, you should be able to find like um, my library kits for like the any car that I currently own that I bother to customize, as well as uh, my tunes for both the Bentley Bottega for off-road performance and the. Um, Renault, even though I'm pretty sure it's called the Renaissance or something else that I keep calling Renault. The Renault Mugen. It's not the fact that we call it Cadillac, they just call it Caddy. No, music, stop playing. You know. Desperate time calls for desperate measures, and this game is not going to respect my right for no music. No, that's turning down music, but I'm not sure if that's turning down like, um... I mean, that's turning down the radio, but I'm not sure if that's turning down mu actual music. Our Horizon scouts won't stop blathering about some classic car abandoned nearby. Come help me find it and shut them up, will you? Where's this car? Because I have this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. Only reason why I haven't touched these yet is because 
one of it away for a stream. I think finding the cars is like an interesting thing to see on the stream. And two, well, I'm just waiting for one particular viewer just to come online to help me, just in case I cannot find these damn things. Other than that, let's enjoy some races. Oh, another thing, I have finally started a stream schedule. So for now on, I'm going to be streaming Monday to Fridays from 5 p.m. to, I mean, I mean, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., Forza Horizon 4. On Saturdays, it's going to be Minecraft. I'm going to be doing a Let's Build series. As I try to, like, build a village that's better than the actual default villages that you can find. I think it'd be an interesting challenge. But with all the modern amenities that an actual player would like, rather than what you currently get in a village. Sunday, I'm going to be restarting Yakuza 0 and completing that, because I do like the Yakuza franchise. And that, um, both on Monday, I mean, on both on Saturday and, like, um, Sunday, those streams will be starting at, like, 5 p.m. As for how long they go, I'm going to try to keep them to two hours, but they might go longer. Really depends on audience engagement on those ones. So I can't really say. I literally turned off the radio. And it's like, nah, we still going to play some copyrighted music here, son. It's like, ugh, you jerks. I don't know what to say about the Bentley Bottega, maybe because I'm seeing a lot of it. I do like the back of the car. It might just because I'm staring at the back of every car when I drive them, but hey, this is not bad. Wait, why does that sign straight up just look like a dick? Did anybody else see a dick in that sign, or was that just me being like dirty? Because I could have sworn I saw something. Like, please tell me I'm not crazy there. You know what? I probably could have cut there and made it. But oh well. Move. Sometimes I find you just have to run them off the road. You know, when you're trying to get ahead, just stop caring about whether or not you're doing this cleanly or not, and just like, nah, I'm gonna need you to get off this road here. Okay, that time I... SHIT! There we go. Okay, it's been like, very harsh with like, the checkpoints now. Cause I could've sworn he gave you like, a little safety bubble around them, but now it's like, nah, you have to go through them or hit the thing to get the checkpoint. Come on, I should have more torque than you. I'm in the bigger, heavier car. Although, no. Well, technically, bigger cars tend to have more torque than lighter cars, but it's like. I don't know. Torque is weird. Because I know torque is like the strength of a vehicle. Or the best way to think about horsepower is torque is horsepower is how fast you hit a wall, torque is how far, like. Uh, horsepower is how fast you hit a wall. Torque is how much damage you do to that wall on impact. There we go. Or is it how far the wall goes? Uh, I like my analogy better. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Not before the end of the race. Not before the end of the race. What the heck? What the heck, you jackass? No. 
Nope. Nah. Nope. There we go. Literally rewinded all the way back just so I can get ahead of this guy, stay ahead of this guy, and win this race. Ain't doing that BS. two cars for that. I wish it would stop playing the music. Because even if I yell and scream and talk over it, YouTube's algorithm still finds the music. Which at this point here is like, that's just YouTube algorithm. It's no longer even people's checking that anymore. That's just a machine that just basically learns all the music and finds it and stops it. I mean, copyright cleans it on behalf of someone else. Because it's not like a company goes and like bothers to do a claim themselves. I know the point of the copyright claiming system is to stop a copy, uh, company from doing a copyright strike, which does kind of get your channel and could get you in some hot water. But still, it's like technically even that's not a good system. Because wasn't that whole entire thing of like how uh, Bitwin, I think he calls himself, got in trouble with like The Verge because he kind of just made fun of one of their videos like everybody else did? Verge got so pissed off they did a copyright strike against the guy and took away his like streaming pillages and actually got him in bad like not bad standing but took away his good standing with YouTube for it. And I did believe he had to like you know contact YouTube to get that clear but it's like if someone can just do that just because you know you made a video they didn't like it that much like doesn't that say something about how broken the system is? Stop trying to pass me. My point being, if you're wondering why there's no music, it's just because of that. And besides, every time like there's a copyright claim, it's just YouTube going send me like a whole bunch of emails saying this was copyright claim and this was copyright claim and this was copyright claim and this was copyright like oh my gosh I don't need 20 emails for that that could have been like a bulk email I mean not even a bulk email that could have just been a list of all the things that got copyright claim and it's like I do try using like YouTube's like turn out the feature mute the music it keeps the same processing then it doesn't do anything and then when you take an effect that's like it's 20 of them on just one video that's three hours long and it's got to process it. It's just annoying. Once again, don't even know why I'm talking about it. It's just something I find like very annoying. It's like if the video is not even being monetized, don't do the whole copyright claim just because, oh, ads may still show on the video because we will still show ads to make money off of it. It's just that you don't make any money off of it. So that's why we have to copyright claim your stuff to cover us making money off of it. It's like, well, 
So because you're wanting money, like, I don't know, kind of stupid when you ask me, but whatever, I do understand. They kind of been sued to oblivion by every fucking company because people don't understand how user-generated content works and how you really can't police that as much as you can, like, stuff like live TV and whatnot. Cause I swear, it's like, every time I hear a story about, like, how another company is, like, leaving YouTube, it's always something stupid that's, like, user-generated content makes this very hard to police, and you can't really police it. And it's, like, some company that just doesn't understand, because it's usually an old money company, you know? Like, remember when Disney said they was going to take all their ads out of, like, YouTube just because of, like, the whole entire, um, comments on videos that had, like, kids in them? And so YouTube started, like, you know, disabling the comments. And then there was, like, Copa, where YouTube was bragging about how you can get, like, their videos to a bunch of, like, 13-year-olds. And, like, you can't really, you know, advertise. And you can advertise on them, even though you're not supposed to advertise to kids. Or you're supposed to tell them they're advertised, they're advertised man. And, like, completely ignore the fact that there was YouTube kids and stuff. And, like, that's what got the whole entire Copa situation happen. Which was very dumb. It's like, don't brag about how you found a loophole. When your immediate strat is always, like, denied blameability or responsibility for every time something goes wrong. It's like, seriously, how stupid can you be about that one YouTube? But whatever. Ignoring bad decisions, they are still the number two um, platform out there, just behind Google themselves. Oh my gosh. No, no music game. Stop the music. Stop, 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 stop. just enough to show up one of these cars that have actually took the time to not only tune but customize the look off. Like this old car, so I think it's called an Aston Mingle or Hertzley I think. I think I won this car, one of those um, super spins, or maybe just a regular wheel spin. Then I went and customized it. Speaking of a spin, can I get a new car? Can I get more money? That'd be nice. Oh, give me that! Porsche 911 GT2 RS 2018. Oh, I'm gonna have fun customizing that later. Wait, do I have another wheel spin available or no? You have arrived at your destination. Alright. Jack. Yeah, give me the bit, Lee. Stop playing the music. Talking over the music to stop the th no nah blah 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 See this is why games like this don't get streamed that often just because they put in copyrighted music. And there's no way to really stop that from happening. It's just gonna happen. Even if you don't want it to. Cause I turned off for like radio volume and it still plays music. Alright, so this is a cross-country event, so now, by 
Bentley Bottega that I purposely tuned for off-road racing should shine, although it's currently getting beat by a freaking false fracking Tiga? Or is that a Torget? Never mind, I passed it, but I'm still having troubles with everything else on the front right now. Meaning I... That's stupid. Like, I don't mind driving on two wheels. Except when it messes things up. Move out the way, you stupid BMW. And now I'm chasing down what looks like an Alfa Romeo. I just bounced over that wall. Oh boy, I think this is a jump! Woo! Uh... That person would be dead in real life and those tires would have popped. Just saying, you know. Like, the thing about those huge jumps, they look amazing until you realize, like, all that kinetic energy has to go somewhere, and that doesn't all just get absorbed by the shocks. You know, the shocks try their best, but they aren't like, you know, the supernatural magical items that can just take all that impact. Some of it does have to be transferred into the driver through their butt and spine. So, you know, that's how you have back problems when you go you do sick jumps like that. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of like um, Baja World Rally races, like they have destroyed spines. I'm pretty sure it's quite difficult for them to sit down after one of these races. I know there are like shock absorbers to take that impact, but like I said, they can't absorb everything. If you do a sick jump like this, oh boy, you best keep your mouth closed unless you want to break those teeth. Like, can you imagine? Slamming down on the ground so hard that you literally like break all your teeth. Well, like I said, guys, if you like the performance of these vehicles here, this Bentley Bottega, I have personally tuned myself. You can find this tune by looking for uh, Forza B1G under the Bentley Bottega vehicle. If you like the design, then it should be Forza or Forza Library B1G under the Bentley Bottega design. Because apparently some of you guys like my stuff as I've been getting like likes and downloads on some of the designs I've done before. So I'm not sure if that's just a thing, or if people are just super nice. guys. I mean, like I said, I did tune this for, like, off-road performance. I lost my freaking tailpipes. Do you know how bad it would be for a car to lo lose its tailpipes? But like I said, I did tune this Bentley Bottega for stuff like this. Like, completely off-road driving. As you can saw, like, once I got up ahead, it's over. Why am I being told my stream quality is unstable? Blah 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 blah. I know they say the destination is not as important as a journey, but here are a bunch of new destinations from which to start journeys. Let's start round six, shall we? Alright. Turn around. It is safe to do so. Well, I do like this car here. 
I'm gonna switch it over to what else did I tune? Because I think I only tuned that, um, what is this called? Austin Heatley. Still haven't tuned that S2000 here. bunch of cars that I should eventually actually let's see how this Porsche drives without any modification whatsoever. Alright. So to pick up a bit of power here. Very flat to the ground. May not be the quickest car, but it's definitely fast. Has a bit of trouble turning. Your car is a mass peak. It's an instant 5,000. Sure. Why the heck not? Near miss bonus. Sure. I'll take it. Drift score is increased by 500%. Why the heck not? How many MPGs does it deliver? About 300. What? Well, there's 300 CR. Says for that. And let's get a wheel spin. Holy crap. I saw that cone attack. Oh no, that wasn't a cone attack. That was Padera. Or I'll take the eye. Okay, more money. The moment where the money is nice and all, but you would rather have the car. Yay! And another crappy t shirt. Oh, sweet. Was that a Volvo C30 Polestar? Can I have that? Can I have that? No. No. Yay! A racing bug. Come on. Give me a car, give me a nice car. I already have that, don't give me the same car twice yeah, half, brother. This car and drifting, oh boy. Actually, hold up, hold up. Let's do a large, shall we? So let's break it, build up this, and launch! In 400 yards, turn right. That launch was disappointing. All right, the street is weird here. Two hundred yards. Turn right. Turn right. Move car. Okay, definitely have to customize this Porsche. Gosh, dark. Dang it! I blank that bus. Nice and fast. Is this S1 or S2 class? Not really sure. In 400 yards, turn right. Oh boy. Turn right. Don't think a Porsche is like a drifting machine. I'm pretty sure this is just straight up like straight line speed. Nova ring performance type thing, and I don't think you drift on a Nova ring. Or if you do, not to the extremes that I'm trying to drift. In 400 yards, turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Oh boy. Love how the wing says Porsche, but the thing is. It says Porsche, so you can see Porsche in your rear mirror if you can actually see your wing. You have arrived at 
your destination. This I have like a whole bunch of test streams and accidental streams and we have to delete from Twitch after this. Blah 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 music stop. Alright, we're kind of seeing this Cadillac escalate a lot, and I'm not liking it. Like, why is somebody so obsessed with driving a caddy off-road, let alone cross-country? I get that it's literally just an upscale truck, but it still doesn't change the fact that it was not made nor intended to be used off-road. Like, I would rather believe that the freaking BMWs that we come across are, have more off-road prowess than that um, caddy. Hell, I will accept this Jeep as having more off-road prowess than the Caddy. Sick ear! Sick ear again! Sick ear one more time! Oh boy, that cost me some positions. Okay, don't go sick ear next time. And why this is like a dynamic frack and you have options and whatnot, but yeah, some of these options may look cool, but you just don't want to do them all the time. One thing I like about this band, you can take it, like I said, the moment it's off-road, it handles like a champ. It's the moment it's on-road that it starts to degrade. I had to experiment with things a bit more, tweak a bit more, but it's like, so far I'm happy with this performance. But I don't know. I'm gonna try like a few online races just to see how well I did here. Because right now I'm just, you know, racing against the bots. Well, fun and all, I don't think the bots were made to be like a challenge in the first place. Because apparently I'm on average difficulty here, but the game keeps recommending above average difficulty. I'm not sure if I'm an above average racer, or is it like, that's just something you'll always do, like it'll start to like, recommend a new difficulty, if you just keep winning over and over again. Or, even if you don't keep winning, it'll still recommend like a different difficulty. Blah, 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 gotta talk of the music. Want it to keep doing this. I turned the radio off for a reason. Alright. So is that all dum dum? No, no. There's some stuff here. Okay, I have to go up to upgrade this thing even higher. Cause it's gotta be a way to make this like an S2 racer, but it's like... But how do I make S2 racer? In 100 yards, turn sharp right. Hold on guys, I see like a... What's this? Yards, turn sharp right. Yes, I know navigation, but I see like a fast travel board here. Do I just pop my way through and hope I hit the board? Is it on a roof somewhere? Because I've noticed that like some of the fast travel boards be on like roofs and oh no, there we go. There, fast travel is now slightly cheaper. Don't tell me I lost the power of my car. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Oh my gosh. By the way, I'm surprised the GPS voice isn't like Cortana. Like, this is a game made by Microsoft. I'm pretty sure they could have put Cartana in here to be sneaky about it. Even though I'm pretty sure Cartana would never be giving you any type of GPS instructions. It doesn't even give you, like, GPS instructions in freaking Halo. Uh, burn. Sick burn. What am I doing? This thing was made just to drive off-road like a lunatic. MOVE! 
Wait, hold on. Give me an option to do a wheel spin. Give me something nice. Rappy Pants, I would regular have that Jaguar Project 7 right there. Then these crappy pants, but no. Nah, I can't have that. I gotta take the crappy pants. Recalculating route. Two hundred yards. Turn right. Like literally. Turn right. Player house. Burbank Castle. Yards. Or was that Fanbanks Castle? Turn right. In 200 yards, turn, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. And that's how you do it. Uh, I gotta take one of these cars here, and I have yet to upgrade the Jeep. So I hope this Jeep is still good. Stop playing satellite, please. Just stop, just stop. I'm not sure if this is open source music or what, but please stop it. It ruins the VOD. Please stop. Gosh darn it. Don't crash into me, you jerk. Oh boy. Still can't believe that tractor is an actual thing, but then again, the Halo Warhog is actually here. So the tractor's legit, I guess. Oh, does it have a super in this game? Because I, when I looked in the car list, I didn't see it. Is that part of a car pack where you have to pay extra if you want to drive the Toyota Supra? Because DLC is a thing. Okay, not sure what's with the split, but okay. Oh, so some people can choose a different path. What the heck did you come from, you stupid jack? Dang it! Nearly took me out! Bot's trying to sabotage me. And now I'm dealing with a Toyota Baja. And what also looks like a Toyota Baja, just modified slightly differently. Oh, that drift was amazing. Like, that was a flawless drift there. To take first place with it as well, like, hmm. Don't normally compliment my driving, but that was the flawless trip there. Although I will say, like, they really needed to pick, like, different colors for when you're driving on sand, because it's very hard to see, like, yellow and blue and red on sand. You know, it's not quite white, it's not quite yellow, it's just weird in between, making it very hard to see. But, yeah. I love when the uh, point gauge just keeps shaking because it just can't handle it. Oh, that's gonna be a wheel spin there. Oh boy, something is getting very close. I beat my horn at them. Okay, any time the vehicle will like to gain traction again, that'd be nice. Now, the thing is, I do have a Ford Raptor that I think if I customize, it should qualify for these races. And as much as I like a Jeep. And I do like the Jeep. But then again, I also have the Dune Buggy as well. So tempted. But I'm not sure if I customize the Ford Raptor or the Dune Buggy. Because it costs money to tune, like, it's nothing if you just want to design, make your car look pretty and all, but if you want to tune that thing, that thing costs this, well, CR, as this game puts it.
a Jeep track lock. If you make it through this next round, I can promise you something big. Really big. Like, four teams of Horizon Scouts working around the clock for two months big. Stand by. <laughs> Ten, nope, nope, nah. When you see a price like that, you know you're good. But I do want to hit the, what am I also here at? The fact that that is actually affordable right now, because I'm rolling around on one milli. Roll around on one milli. What you gonna say about it? Nothing. But I am not driving the Jeep there, that is for sure. A new car has been added to your garage, the Creek Cherokee. And now... Should we try this out? Nah. But I will go ahead and... Oh, right, I also have this BMW M3. I'm not sure what to do. Could be a rally car, couldn't be a rally car. It exists. As of right now, let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and customize like the Ford Raptor. Just to see what we can do with it. I love how this tiny car sounds straight up like a jet. That instantaneous stop. Lovely little seaside retreat. You'd have direct access to the beach, but if you go swimming, just be careful, yeah? You wouldn't be the first driver I've had to fish out of the sea, or a lake, or a public fountain, once. I'll go sort the paperwork. You just stay on dry land till I get back. Would you like to set this? Yeah, sure, we can set this at a home. Why not? Alright, so let's go ahead, let's check the garage, and let's customize the Ford Raptor. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to... Okay, that's fine. Luckily, it does not kick you out. So, let's design it first. Doesn't have advanced design grip. So, there's pure orange, then there's blue, there's black, silver and then white i think i'm gonna have to go with the black i love that look okay so the hood can be designed in multiple parts okay hmm. silver looks a bit too white but the blue looks nice though yep let's go with the blue roof there no advance for the mirrors here, so what should we do with the mirrors? Should we go black and blue? Now there's no wing on the car, obviously. As for these tires here. Should we go camel tires? Oh, nope, nope, camel doesn't look good. Carbon fiber. These windows need tint. Yep, save that to current car. That's all nice and dandy. Come on, save faster, save faster. There we go. Now, I'm not sure about vinyls, so let's not do vinyls. But we are going to go ahead and change its performance. As for the engine intake, let's just go ahead and increase this. Because currently this car is only C rank, so we need to get this up there, shall we? And I know I should be looking at the power bend slash curve to see if that's what I want. But let's be honest, it's still a video game at the end of the day. Even if it has all this stuff in here, it's still going to take care of you partially. What's that affecting launch? 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just keep adding horsepower. No replacement for displacement. Wait, what does that say? That was race engine, sport engine, street engine. Nah. I should be looking at what it says. But let's be honest. This is Force Horizon. Everything's a race. So technically, if you want to go with the race parts, that's fine. Ooh, do not like the fact that it's affecting braking. Yep, we're going to leave that out. Because I don't want anything affecting my braking powers. Braking is very important since it doesn't seem to be good drifting. Oh yeah, I'm seeing those brimbles back there. So this allows for spraying, dampening, and alignment tuning. So how are we doing here? Street, front, or race, and this allows for me to control the stiffness. Street oriented, or... So technically, these will improve something like the handling, acceleration, and braking, but only if I tune them. Although right now they're not doing much for the car. Because we're exhausting up front. Now I know increasing the weight and reinforcing the chassis it does decrease like the acceleration of the launch, but it is increasing braking power and handling. And it's an off-roader. Besides, we can just put a weight reduction kit in as well. <laughs> now, as for the clutch here, let's see. Might be minor, but those things helps out. Ooh, do not like having my acceleration affected. Reducing the weight, increasing handling, acceleration, and launch. Not bad. Differentials. Yeah, I don't understand the point of the diffs. Alright, as for the tires here, what do we got? This off-roader. That's it. We'll go for some off-roaders. And we can go for a wider, slightly wider tire. Decrease acceleration and launch, but it gives us better handling. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be an off-roader. Let's put some slightly widers in the back as well. Now, as for the tires. So we can stick with fours. So specialized. Where are some good rims? This actually does make it lighter. It looks nice. I mean, wouldn't a dish be good to keep, like, dirt out of your brakes? Yeah, we're gonna go with those. You know, I'm pretty sure that doesn't affect anything. Alright. Why would you want low profiles on our truck? I mean, I get the aesthetics, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, no. Might look good aesthetically, but it's not doing anything for us here. Yeah, we're gonna leave it be. It's a truck. Okay, it should always have giant tires. Nope. So let's see. We're going that. We can go Baja style. Empty wing, or we can just empty the bed. Honestly, I like it without the bedpan. I mean, not bedpan, um, what is it called? I think it's called a truck cover. So 
so that makes it S1. It improves basically everything. All right, let's go with that. It should be all wheel drive, right? Yeah, no. And this is improving the era. Better acceleration, so max acceleration, max launch, better speed, but I've given up braking and handling for it. Let's go for a twin turbo, shall we? All right. Let's install this setup. And there we go. We now have a very nice truck. And as for the tuning, so we can change the tire pressure. So let's go ahead and lower it to like 28 PSI. As for gearing, we can't change that. We could change the camber, but it's a truck. As for springs, should we go for soft or stiff? Stiff. Soft springs take an impact, stiff spring does not. And then there's ride height, which we're not going to do. Alright, I think that's good. Now then, um... Alright, this is what I forget to do. Right, so let's save this setup. Let's save it here. Once again, guys, if you would like to download this mod, uh, what I mean by mod, tune. And let's say for right now, I mean, it's definitely gonna have like lots of speed. But let's say off the line, best for speed. There we go. That may or may not be true, but hey. Now, if that's done, also anything in the auction house. New cars, deep designs. Search cars. I, I wasn't done. Should we go ahead and, um, oh yeah, let's see. Anything closing wise. Regular black team because yeah. go with that and now oh, he's looking swaggy now. You know that guys. Let's see if this is any good. It's got some speed, but let's try it on the race. Good, it stopped. I like that. Oh, well, this is the only car I have that can take this race here. No, 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 no. Talking over the music. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Load already. Load quicker. Load quicker. Stop loading. No, load, load quicker. There has to be an option to mute this. Is there an option to mute that?
Wait, the only cars in this race are trucks. Is it like a case of like it would have been like SUVs or trucks? Oh boy. Yeah, that was a lot of oversteer there. Okay, it's good at catching. A decent amount of speed for all that horsepower I gave it. A little bit more grit would be nice. A little bit more speed would be nice as well. Like, holy crap. Is that right there? I can tune the turbos, get more speed out of this thing? Like, holy crap. But I swear, it's like with every car ever, someone has made like a 2,000 horsepower version of it that goes like there's some ludicrous speed. Well, it's a good thing I actually tuned this thing. Because I would not have been able to participate in this race otherwise. I would have been told that I had to buy like a vehicle or something. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful drift right there, and a truck. And a truck nonetheless, that was just an absolute beautiful drift. I will say, it's like a tad bit understeering. But, oh my gosh. Sometimes it just gets like a very beautiful drift. That counts, Jeff. That counts. Good. But the thing about it is, like, yeah, slightly more brakes would be nice. Like, getting some absolute beautiful trips here. Nice, it doesn't bounce around too much when it goes in the air. It just kind of comes down like a solid brick. It's definitely not a drifter by any means. But, yep, it quickly pulls itself out. Doesn't have much in the way of speed, but then again, this is a truck. How fast am I expecting a truck to go? your base Ford Raptor out of here. Ram Power Wagon, holy crap. Not to show favorites at all, but you need to make it through this next round because we're planning something big for afterwards, like the biggest dirt route I've ever created big. Really wish it tells you like what round the race is. Alright, let's go ahead and drive to this destination. This is how we do it, roundabouts. We just... I was to say, we just go straight, then we hit a wall. Okay, once again, I think I did a nice job of tuning, although I pretty much left everything as stock in terms of, well, 
pretty much everything. The only thing I did was lower the tire pressure a little bit just to have a bit more grip. But I think I might have to lower it even like a tad bit further. To get like a bit more grip here. But I will be losing speed if I do, if I try to run with too little air in my tires. Like, is there a reason to like overpressurize your tires? Because I could have sworn I heard that like there's a legit reason why you might do that in a competitive um, scene. What am I doing? I'm in a truck. Hold on, we'll spin. And... Don't I already have that? No, I have the old 5 version. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, so it looks like this is straight up just, I can only bring a truck in here. No, no, no. Talk about the music. Talk, talk, talk. Keep talking. Keep talking. No, no. Keep talking. Talk, 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 but then, why is my Bentley Bottega not being shut up as an option? I don't know. Wish I did. I'm just glad that I went ahead and customized this Ford Raptor when I did. I thought I probably would have had to take, like, the, um... Dodge Ram. Oh boy. And back bounce. Uh, speaking of Dodge Ram, it's a Dodge Ram. Oh, absolutely beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! So good! So good! Lowering tire pressures. Nah. thing is, I like to fix, like, the bit of oversteer that can happen. Because sometimes there's a bit of oversteer, but, like, when I'm going nice and slow, it's just straight up understeer. I mean, not understeer, just perfect mount. It's a perfect stair? I don't know. Because I know understeer is when a car doesn't want to turn, and oversteer is when it turns a bit too much. It's like, hmm. This feels like something can be approved, but I'm not exactly sure what can. Go on roads, like if I slow down just the right. That's good. The only thing is, I don't like the fact that this is... One thing I find that helps out a bit when you're drifting is just, like, the tap the gas. That's an old... Oh, boy. I might have to tune the springs. It's not liking these bumps. One thing I'm finding that helps when you get to like the turn is just, like letting go of the gas and tapping it again, like this rapid fire of the gas. Look at you and your boring Ford Raptor. My Raptor is superior. Look. 
deployed right there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I could turn around when it's safe to do so. Why are her lightsabers in the ground? My destination is right here. Is it in the It's not in here. So where is this thing? Is there a tunnel? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, there's a tunnel. You have arrived at your destination. Would not have seen that otherwise. What is this? Reservoir run, car restriction, Konasek. Well, I don't have a Konasek. Around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. In two hundred yards, turn left. I do like the fact that the top lights actually do work, and they are providing actual lights. It's a nice little touch, you know? Especially when it's just pitch black as you drive. Like, holy crap. Is this a thing you guys deal with in UK? Because I'd be losing my mind if I had to live in a place this dark. There's a season change. So it looks like I'm still dealing with summer. You have arrived at your destination. There you go. I take there's one. Now we keep going straight this way. There seems to be another one over here. Oh boy, ignore the flying raptor. Hey, I made it. I'm pretty sure it's underneath the... Yep, it's always underneath the bridge. Like if you be underneath the bridge, it'll be underneath the bridge. Oh boy. Be sneaky about it. No one will ever find me here. Nah, I found you. Also, let's try this race, shall we? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Now I could follow the road. But at the same time, this is a Ford Raptor. It wasn't made for roads. Now the real question is, when's that Ford Raptor Shelby gonna drop? The most ambitious crossover in automotive history. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh wait, whoa, 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 while I was plowing through the fields. I was about to say in your mother, but then I realized that would have been very immature. Alright, where's that fast track? There it is. If you can hide from me. Oh, there's actually lights in that house. That's a nice little touch. They must be terrified as a guy with a Fort Raptor just goes and like smash this sign that they probably bought with their own money in front of their house. Then escapes by just driving through the wilderness like a madman. Yeah, I'd be terrified of that. Oh crap. Oh boy. 
Don't mind me. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh wait, hold on. If I see it, three thousand points for that one? That was obvious. In two hundred yards, turn right. Hold on, we'll spin. Give me something good here. No short, see the car no money. Cars are money, car money, car money, car money, car money, car money, car money. Car money. Oh my dude, I care about the sound of my car. Holy crap, I said that tree to oblivion. I don't know if I saw that tree phase out of existence there. Like, he got hit so hard that the game was like, hold up, wait a second. Oh. Wait, what? This is a race, but I do it in a truck? Or is it going by whatever I show up in? Oh, it's whatever I show up in. Okay. So I guess there's like multiple versions where you can get like either in a truck or a car. It's like whatever class of vehicle I show up in. I wish I would have known that earlier. Oh, dang it, I would've fucking been Aston, Aston Hinkley then, if I'd really known that. Yeah, okay, so it looks like these are all those hatchbacks. Although, it has been some cases where I straight up just could not do a track at all. So I'm not sure what that's about if it just goes by whatever I show up in. So strange and so weird, but who cares? Alright. Maybe I should have got one of my Reno. I mean, I wanted to bust out the Hyundai Velocitor because I haven't used this in a while, but it doesn't seem to be doing a trick here. And there goes all my downforce. One thing I'm glad is the fact that it handles all the turning for me. No. Yeah, there was no way to recover from that one there. There. That was easily more recoverable. Still lost my wing and my car looks weird without it, but hey. You know, sometimes stuff happens. Should I convert this back to like front wheel drive? Because right now it is all wheel drive takes the mud. But at the same time, so is all my cars and it seems to work out fine. But I know there's like a thing where front wheel car, um, drive cars are better drifters. While rear wheel drive cars are better just for speed. But wouldn't that make all wheel drive cars an all arounder? Just saying. Oh my gosh. 
Um, that was a perfect drift right there. I love how it fixes my cars after the race ends. Someone went ham on their Mercedes A series car. I forget what is the Mercedes hatchback A coupe is called. Hmm? Why is there a Joy Con controller? La Racer at Horizon. What is this? And let's go check it out. Gotta do it. Oh wait, I'm going up this backwards. This is not normally how I fly through this mountain. Yards. Turn right. What did that backwards? Turn right. Yeah, it seemed like if I want to do shop turns, I gotta like. Drift it, and once I get the angle, like let go of gas and then gas it, just to get control of the vehicle back. An adventure. There may be an abandoned classic involved somewhere, but you know, any excuse will do. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Nathan Lancer. Arrived at your destination. Hi, it's the racer. I'm at the Horizon Festival in the UK. I'm at Horizon. It's awesome. Come join me. I'll be streaming every day. Today, we'll be counting down my top 10 favorite cars. And I've got a guest. Who? Just one of the biggest rising stars at the Horizon Festival. Number is this 10, a famous YouTuber? I should know. Outrun, which is one of the best games of all time. I don't care about stand-up or console port. This game is a classic. If you've not played it, pause this right now and go play it. Oh wait. Great. Everyone's back. Let's drive. Okay, I feel like... No, 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 no. All radio is bad. And why did we start it with Ferrari off road? Isn't it like very bad? bad drive. I'll give her that. Even though I have no clue who she is, I'm pretty sure that it might just be a case of like one of those YouTuber tie-ins. Because, you know, that's a thing we have to deal with in our mind world. Where, like, big companies try to tie it in a famous YouTuber for more street cred? Like, seriously, what is the point of, like, the YouTuber tie-in? Is it just because, like, they're cheaper than a celebrity, but they'll get the same amount of, like, effort? Or performance or results as a celebrity. But I swear, that's like just super common nowadays, just to have like some type of YouTuber tie-in. In 400 yards, turn right. Well, I'm definitely not getting three stars here, that's for sure. I 
I mean, I have a bad start because I have to turn off the radio as fast as possible. Even though I am in streamer mode, so therefore the radio should not have pumped on in the first place, but whatever. Two stars and 220. Like, it is brutal with these stars, you know? And now, one star for everything else. Oh no, I can still get two stars if I make it in 240. Which I'm not gonna get, so here comes the one star. One star I've been making in three minutes. I'm pretty jealous. I would have loved to drive that. But I've been fielding questions and comments. My subscribers love watching you drive. This is gonna be great content. As soon as you're ready, I'll set up another stream. This is let's see some type of famous YouTuber that I don't know, or it could just be a made up YouTuber. Because a name like La Racer just seems a bit made up. Like, if it was La Racer, maybe. Because let's be honest here. That's the type of stuff that you know somebody would call themselves in a game. Okay, yep. I love how this is considered S1, and this is considered B class. How the mighty have fallen. I wonder if I should tune the peel just to see how stupid the peel can get. some type of either made up YouTuber or an actual YouTuber or Twitch streamer. I don't know who the race is playing, pretending to be, but it literally feels very made up. Oh boy, not in the lake. Okay, good, shallow lake. Fine here. Is it just turn around when it is safe to do so? Okay, so it's not this thing. You have arrived at your destination. No, my destination would have been like wherever this place is. Alright, time to drive around in circles until I find something. I thought it was that thing on the lake, it wasn't. Who would this be? It's not like somebody's gonna put a barn in a lake. But then again, we find these barns in like the most random of places. Like seriously, how do these things even get built? Let's look at the map, see where it can be. So first off, we're dealing with a quite big area. The lake makes up most of it, but where? Actually, if I go straight, and to the left, it looks like I'm gonna see something. Oh wait, is that the top of the mountain here? They have come across barns that was at the top of a hill. That makes no damn sense about why a barn was doing up there. Should we follow these roads or these paths? I don't know.
the thing is, I'm thinking it has to be like close to a road because somebody else can drive a car in and out of there. And again, with how much these cars look like crap when we first find them. like that in real life, like you go and you smash a board and all of a sudden you get like a thousand subscribers on YouTube. How many people would be out there just smashing boards left, right, and center? Just driving a car, like face forward. thinking it has to be like near a road, like one of these bike paths, because the person's going to have to drive the thing, but then again, it's like not that common to find them on a bike path, So I thought it was this at first, definitely drove up to the front of it, but nope, nothing's there. to a lake. There's a car. Your car might not expensive, but it gets you an instant 1,000 points. Head turner permanently. I like wrecking stuff. Let's go ahead and get a wheel spin in. Car money, car money, car money, car money, car or money, car or money. Car, or money. Uh, oh my gosh, that looks hideous. Sure, let me do lots of jumps anyway. Another wheel spin just for spinning all those skill points. Car money, 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 car money. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay. Like, am I missing something here? There we go. I should have just followed the path. I was like, yeah, it probably could be along the path. Because the car has to drive there. Way there, I'll be down there soon. I love how the fact that there's no legal paperwork or anything. We just go up, we find a car, and we could just take it and... Oh my gosh, is this a Dyson? No, it can't be. Jaguar e -type. Why oh. would anyone leave this beauty to sit here for so long? Come on, let's take her back. That's not bad. It's definitely not that. Drive it back to the garage. Maybe blow some of the grass out of that engine. In 400 yards, turn left. Uh, would somebody really drive a Jaguar off road though? I mean, technically, I know it's not really extreme off roading. Recalculating route. It's just a minor dirt path, but still, it's like a rear wheel drive. Classic sport car. But who knows? You just find like the weirdest cars in these barns. 
Oops. Well, that facade is not going anywhere. Apparently I never turned on this road before. Driver is dead. Actually, nah. Hold on, let's switch our cars. I do have a car I prefer just to cruise around town in. May not be the fastest, damn it, but it's a nice car, so. In 400 yards, turn right. Switch to this car for no reason. In 400 yards, turn left. Because I'm gonna immediately need something with a bit more uh, off road grip turn left. than what this car can offer me. Because while it's not doing bad, I definitely tune this for like on road and drifting. Okay, what does that symbol up ahead mean? Oh, it means sick jump. Uh, I see what you want me to use. You want me to? The sickest of jobs! Just one star, okay? Come on. Let's be honest. All right. So where the heck is this place? Where would it be? Because it either has to be the quarry. If I had to leave a car next to a quarry, first of all, what the heck would I leave next to a quarry? Maybe the first ever Lambo um, SUV? I mean, that's an old car. Not to mention SUV. Not to mention collectible. Hold on. That's a train. Driven to this area before. Don't go that way because that's something else entirely. I think if I see like dirt paths, that's normally a good thing to follow because you have to think someone has to drive out there. Took down a tree, but the tree took down me as well. Gosh darn it. Alright, might want to switch over to like a truck or an SUV. Something that can handle the dirt a bit better. Not just be flung around by it. Well, what's that? What's that? Is that what I'm looking for? No, it's a rock. Some are pretty scary too. You up for doing some more? 
No. Now then, uh, where would it be? Is there like a clearing? Hold on, I see something that looks like a clearing here. that danger sign again. Because I know just a vehicle that would get some insane amount of speed and close with that with some type of vengeance. Find traction, but it's a nice lightweight high speed car. Let's go. New record, but still only one star. Need an extra 42 feet to be considered. Dang it. Oh well. I tried. See what this uh, power wagon is all about. Surprisingly, this ram looks just as home in a site like this. Alright, I don't think it'll be in the quarry. If someone is putting it away in a shack, they wouldn't want people to obviously see it. Oh boy, this thing has no speed whatsoever. to the left of this circle. Or follow my own advice and just look for a dirt path. Would it be... The quarry is too obvious. Is that it? These are burnt down buildings. For something called a power ram, the fact that it's finding, having trouble finding power is a bit disappointing. Are you, are you kidding? Wow. This is the power ram. I mean power wagon. Even climb a mountain. Oh no. I'm okay with calling it a wagon, but I'm not okay with calling it a power wagon. Alright, we found the road. Now, on that sick jump that I keep trying to. Oh, there we go. We're trying to turn it fast. Let's 
see if they lead anywhere. Well, the cactus goes into that rope there, so that's useless. This goes into oblivion. Awesome. I'm tempted just to bust out the fourth raptor. I'm telling you, you better come on down and get your jacket. I'm taking it. Jaguar's done, that's great and all, but I'm still looking for the shed here. Where is this play place? I'm telling you, it has to be close to the road. Also, I am done with the power wagon. It just does not have the worst power. Look at this. This is a piece. Where is this place? If I was a barn, where would I be? like a lumberjack field. This just goes back into the quarry. I love that I had enough horsepower and torque just to stay on a mountain. Now this, this is a power wagon. I hope there's not some BS like a tunnel I'm missing. Alright, let's try it one more time just in this. There it is, I saw it. And let's go! Holy crap! My word, that was a jump and a half there. I almost lay in the bloody center. Okay, am I going down or up? I know it's next to that jump, but dang. You know what sucked? It just was like a time thing, and I have to beat like other people to finding it. Mm, hopefully, it puts me on a good road. No, oh, that's fine. Rise it down live, event begins. Get there to take get there now to take part. Dang it. Just let me at the top.
one star because I think I need to be. Oh, I got it. Alright, now I just need to head back up there because I saw it. It was right next to the extreme jump. Alright, so if it's off the beaten path next to Quarry, I'm assuming this is the time to be maybe a Land Rover Defender? Would be an old car with lots of sentimental value. And I saw it somewhere around here when I was going for the extreme jump. Find myself up one more time. I know I saw it when I was like driving. There we go. No, I was completely wrong. What the heck is this doing next to a site? Oh man, I had a poster of one of these on my wall when I was a kid. I still do actually, if Nan hasn't chucked it out. Lotus Elise GT1. Let's get out of here. This is good. Well, that was a very strange find for an area like this. Let me kill her when it's ready. I'll call you. 100 yards, turn right. In 400 yards, turn left. And the sad thing is, my Ford Raptor makes more sense turn in a quarry right. than that thing does. In 200 yards, turn left. Now, you can tell me to turn left, but you see, the thing is... Recalculating route. In 200 yards, turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Okay, not a lake I can drive across. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn left. There's a bit of lumberjack there, and I was wrecking. Like, I broke a lot of stuff. That guy was in my way. Totally driving on the wrong side of the road. You all saw that. game at the process how epic that jumping off a rail is. Alright. Now we know these garages are gonna be either next to a trail. A trail next to a road. And it has to be wide enough for a car to fit on. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Oh, I see a clearing up there. Around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn left. Saw a bike trail. Bike trail, you follow the bike trail. And I also wonder, like, how did they get the materials and the supplies out to this location here?
Come on. Where's this car? Oh, what? Did I find? Wow! What? What? Find another? Why am I asking? Be there soon. Of course, it's a Subaru. Number no WRX. Another WRX. But one for me, finally. It's an Impreza 22B, an old rally gem. Only a small handful were imported into the UK, so this is a really rare find. Come on, let's get it fixed up. Like, where was back, this? It, shall I? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I found it. That's all that matters there. Even though I have no clue where the heck that thing was. Can I fast travel to this? I can. Like, I didn't even see it. It just teleported me. You know it'd be funny if you actually don't pull those cars out of the garage fast enough, you lift it does keep the cars. That's a barn that makes sense. The one we keep finding don't make any sense. Like, did people just build buildings in, like, random places? Alright. We're here. Now, where is this gonna be? Because so far... Their location has not made any sense whatsoever. Water clear, yes. So lots of places it can be. It's not like these things show up on the map, even though it's a very detailed map. Hold on, I see like a little house down here. It is safe to do so. In four hundred yards, turn left. Hmm. Can you see that? Okay, there's a house here. But the barn is not here. Yeah. Alright, so go dirt road and passing off the beacon track. We're just trying to get a race here. It's not this building here. This is a random quaint little building. Hold on. 
Oh, this is a house for sale that we found. Nice little place, but not what we're looking for. Oh, I got three stars? What? Wow. I'm not expecting that. I didn't think I was going that fast for that. Okay. Alright, where is this thing? People are coming up to me asking whether or not you hacked the speed zone data. Should have seen their faces when I told them your scores were real. Fancy proving them wrong again. I don't care about that. Alright. Um uh, what is this? Oh hello. See something that way. Outside the ring. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, where is this place? Where sometimes you just need a bird's eye for you to find the play things. So they have to get a car out there, and they have to get building materials out there. There's gotta be like a pathway somewhere that I'm missing. Or it can be completely hidden, like it was on the freaking, uh, Civi one. There we go. Okay, there was a little path leading up to it. You found another barn. Of course you did. Oh, a little Wait mini. Up. I think that's the Pac-Man mini. Seen the Italian job? And from what I heard, they tried to drive a full loop through a sewer. It got most of the way there before it came down on its roof. I'll go and get it fixed up for you. Mini Cooper S. Okay, so it wasn't a Pac-Man Mini like I thought it was. I was wrong. Travels there, or I can fast travel there, or I can fast travel here. Yeah, call you when it's ready. In 100 yards, turn right. Let's go. How do I feel? I'm here. Now then, where is this thing? I 
Hello. What is that? Oh, no, that's the tunnel entrance. How big is the circle? Now, hmm. What day? No, that really makes sense. Like, why would you even have a car in a tunnel? Questioning why a car would be in a tunnel. Think about all the other. Oh, oh. Let me see if that's in the circle. That's in the circle. Around, Found it. When it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Come on, I know I saw something here. You have arrived All right, what did I see? Okay, I thought I saw something here. Turn out I saw nothing. Great. All right. Need to find a path. Something looks like it was driven on. Hello. A little farmland. Is there a path? Come on, come on. There's gotta be a path. Give me a path. Have they destroyed some probably thousand year old rocks? There we go. That's not the barn we're looking for, Jim. No, that would make total sense. Hold on. Hold on. Where's this path going? There we go! How come you always find these things before me? I, I, it's not like I'm not looking. Because you're not looking? It's an MG. An MGB GT, in fact. It's a brilliant little sports car made right here in Britain, is what I'm saying. Trying to do it to the engine didn't go so well, did it? I'll go and put all the pieces back in. And all right, that's all done. Is this one my house? Nope, that's ten million. Call you when it's done. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In four hundred yards, turn right. Yards, turn sharp right. You have arrived at your destination. Oh boy. This is going to take the spanner and the wrench for sure. Alright. Those barn finds. The Jaguar E type should be ready. This used to be owned by a very wealthy local with a habit of misplacing items. It was this habit that led to this poor E-type being left in a barn after the keys for it were lost. Instead of trying to find the keys, he just bought another. 
bank. When you have so much money that like you just go ahead and buy new money. I ain't buying a new car. Oh, I'm almost done with the barn finds. One, two, three, four, five, six left. Okay, let's see what's in the auction house, shall we? Ford F1. Oh, that's my car. What is this car? Johnny Bid Legendary. Why does it mention the car? Some type of Dodge Charger. Bid in a bio. Charger Daytona, that's what it is. Why is that legendary? I have one that I'm not doing Jack Jilly to squat with. Was the additions event influence boost? Do I buy it? It's a nice looking car. Seems to be the special Ford's edition of the car. Spec. Okay, what the heck is this and why does it look sweet? Mercedes been E three fifty four Matic all perfect perfect E A T. Not a bad sign. I love how it says top gear on the side. looking. Mm, I can't afford it. I mean, I could buy it and have like a freaking Bugatti. Oh, that's what the uh, vintagers don't have the windows. What does Forza Edition mean? Like, it's. Did they pre purchase the game and they got it with it? Concept 2. What else? Another Mr. J. My Vulcan was addition. <laughs> Top Gear is tractor. Dragon Bus, Volkswagen Golf R, Remax Concepts. It's for three milli, dang. Oh, the police have entered the door. Another Remax Concepts. Cadillac. Okay, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Wow. 
the fact that that is a bid for like nine hundred thousand for that is amazing. And it's like, hey, if you want the base vehicle, here you go. Super light. <clears throat> tempted, tempted. Not sure how I feel about that baby blue. Someone trying to sell their peel. Just like, here it is, completely stocked. Does anybody wants to buy this thing? I hope I'm not going around in a circle. Nope, I'm not going around in a circle. It's just a lot of people. Ooh. You know what? Hold on. Loading auction details. I'm going to put a bid in it. So how do I bid for this? Oh, auction completed. Oh. Why am I seeing auction completed? Dang it. Winning bid 12 million? For a Mustang? What the heck is wrong with people? Oh, gosh. I mean, these are all auction completed. Starting bid and that's the buyout. Like, wow. 12 million for a freaking Ford Mustang. Why can't I bid? And then I realize, oh, that's why. Yeah, these are all auction completed. Well, no, that's about the end of the sound. Jaguar E type. But I just got one. Lamborghini. I guess people just don't like the XJ220. Looks like the barn finds are quite common. Ooh. Looks nice and all, but it's gonna have like no control. GTS rare. You know what? Let's put a bid on it. Let's put a bid on it. Let's see. Sure, let's put in that bid. Yep. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Porsche for 40. Bid accepted. Currently, I'm winning. Now, let's back out of there. Let's see what happens. Already getting into auction completed. Wait, I won this? Oh wow, this is nice. Well, that was a thing. I started wanted for the winning bid. I mean, the straight up went in there and like, winning bid 280. <laughs> Dang, someone got that for real cheap. probably sell my TVR. It's just like out of control most of the time and I don't really like it. I'm going to put my own car up for option. You won the Porsche. Yeah, I saw. Oh, 
Alpha Romeo, 4C. You know what? We're going to bid, I mean, 8C. I want this car. I'm going to bid on it because it goes for like 240 in this bloody auction house. I'm going to put that in. Starting bid. I'm not bidding anymore. Let's see what happens. I think I have a Lamborghini Huracan, and I don't like how that guy has modded it. Want it, but I don't have enough to throw away like that. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see. That's the Ranger Raptor. The Melville M six hundred. Not bad looking. I'll take it. I don't have a problem, I swear. I can quit at any time. Your bid fell. The auction has already closed. Oh, come on. That sucks. Oh, I got the Alfa Romeo. 8C. Awesome. Alright. Let's see. I need to leave here, but I'm going to put my TVC up for auction. with the Mustangs going for like millions. Is there something special about this RTR that I don't know about? Was this a stream? Like, I don't know what's with the thing with jigs, but holy crap. All I know is I got two nice cars out of this. Yeah, I won this. Collect car. Oh. I forgot to claim the car. Well, if I won the bid, I was expecting to automatically receive the car, gosh darn it. And let's go ahead and collect this car as well. Yep. Um, Alright, now that's done. Oh, there we go. Start an auction. But before we do that, let's go ahead and make our TVR nice and pretty, and then we're going to auction that thing. that blade thing. There we go. Alright. Oh, not the signs. We want to tune the thing. Spend an unnecessary amount of money to make this car even more unruly. Just so we can put an action house. I need max speed. I need the best brakes I can find. Lower that thing. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this weight as well. Transmission. Lower this weight.
don't understand the point of that, so still not going to do it. Race, Cerulean race, rally tires, drag tires, um, angle of race tires. Nope. Large back tires, small front tires, yep. Let's go for a multi-piece finish. Gonna need something. Ooh. Yes. Gotta get them low profiles in here. Let's extend it out, get that out there. Put some form of control on this. Oh, front. Some canaries, yes. Giant wing on the back, yes. And then mine is three hundred and fifty four horsepower. Why? Oh, I see. So the acceleration becomes a bit more balanced. Because right now, if you're looking at the torque and the horsepower. It's got like a lot of horsepower. Also has a lot of torque just from zero and starts to lose it. But or we can put a control on it. Nah, that and let's call it done so. that let's go to the auction house and let's start an auction shall we for this car right here you cannot sell the car you are driving get another car first okay Done, but whatever. I'm going to be customizing this thing. No, 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 no. You get back. I'm going to put a car up for sale. Start an auction and let's go to the T's. Let's auction this car. Confirm. Starting price 50k, buyout price. Ah, dang it, I can't make it any higher. Start a nice 60 shelling and it's for hours. Let's give it 24 hours. You must claim any car or credit that you have won in an auction within 60 days or they will be lost. Okay. A small fee will be deducted from the file. That's how they get you. color I kind of like it with the just a silver look as for the hood carbon fiber for the mirrors, those can also be carbon. Back. Let's 
some type of wing that I'm not seeing, but it's carbon. Got tires. I like that look. All right. I like that stone, but now we have to mod this thing. So just not like a straight up just a regular stripe. So it's an fine regular stripe. How about ooh? No, this is Italian. What is a flag colors for? Isn't it orange, white, and red? Yep. Slightly transparent, like seventy five per cent. I would love for more position control of this rather than just, you know what, F it, leave it max, stamp it there. Let's move the next one down a little bit, stamp it there, and then the next one even further down. Stamp it there. All right. So now then, we're gonna change the colors. So I believe it is green, white, orange. So which one is this? So this has to be white, and then this one has to be green. this side. Huh? Why didn't it copy? Mirror to the side. Mirror to the side. Mirror to the side. There we go. Now that's there. And then rear bumper, what do we want? Go top and hoods. Now I'd love to be able to just to connect them. Start with green, that's fine. Where are you? There it is. Move it over here just to make it easier to see. Now let's increase the size. Let's make sure it's matching both sides. Good. And a bit wider. Nope. Right there.
There we go. Stamp it. And like one up here. Stamp it. And one up here. Okay, why is this not? There we go. And now then we just need to change the color to previously selected and we want orange. This one needs to be white. That's all I needed there. Just a bit of Italian flair. And now, we need to customize the cars. Yes, this is my car now. I don't care what the previous owner did to it. I'm going to customize it and probably do what the previous owner did. But nope, drip tight. I know this adds weight, but we're gonna need some reinforcement because we're just gonna take it out of the vehicle here anyway. Clutch, just shorter shift times would be nice. Differential doesn't make sense to me, so I'm gonna leave that be. As for the tires here, got those. So I can never really want to fly in the front, so I can just get fly in the back. And then we're going for some sports rims, and I want something that looks nice. Could go with those rims that straight up look like they just pulled from the 4C. Designing this how I want it to look though. No, I didn't like any of them. I don't know why, but I like these. And now then, as for the rim size... on this and then the conversion stay 
Or we'll try for one. And oh, that looks good. Yep. We're gonna leave it like that. And now we just need to tune it. Not worried about tire pressures, gears is fine. The camera is a bit too negative for my liking. So let's go ahead and fix that, shall we? Neutral all of them. Bit too low, so let's add Zero sixty at that time. Everything's fine. And let's tune in. Save it. a bit more for the drift. Let's take this out and see what we can do. What is this for? Your car is a masterpiece. Get an instant. Well, thank you for acknowledging my car looks good. Will spin in. Well, I got back the money I paid to get this car in the first place. That right there is one of the rarest cars at the festival. What can I say? When you play the wheel at Horizon, you don't go home with a goldfish. Close to believe a false wagon beetle is the rarest car you can get, sure. Oh boy, Firebird. Alright, alright, calm down. Let's see what you can do. Kira and apparently there's a rule and I'm not allowed to keep a Subaru so you better conduct cancer. This thing definitely has speed behind it, that's for sure. Oh boy. It's not a bit drifty, but it sure does handle them. 
There's more race to him than there is drift to him. Yeah, seems to do the drift a little bit and then instantly wants to go straight. Yeah, this is no. Yeah, this is definitely race to him. <laughs> Boy. Definitely race to him. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. Let's see if there's a race track we can go to. Turn around when it is safe to do so. At the roundabout, Take the third exit. Yeah, it doesn't even want to drift. When it is safe to do so. This car definitely has some speed behind it. You know, this feels like I'm going some 200 miles per hour. And then look at that. Like, the moment I start to um, drift, it instantly goes. Gain its control back. And it's like, nope. Okay, so I can make it go a little bit squirrely. Oh, that looks so cool. Kind of lost my wing. Should probably adjust it down for us at the back. Keep it more pointed to the ground. I did instantly lose my wing and I'm feeling a bit disappointed by that. You have arrived at your destination. Alright. Oh, this is an S2 race. No, 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 talking over the music, talking over the music, talk, 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 talk. Okay, that's this dark oblivion in there. Where's the Garrus? Oh my gosh. Wow, that is straight up just the, um, regalia right there. That's straight up the regalia. Holy crap. I wonder if you can buy that, or is that case of, like, it's straight up the C, or was it just, like, this crossover thing that allows you the regalia? Because, dang it, I am jelly. If that shows up in an auction, I'm getting that. Assuming I have the money for it, I probably won't. But the thing is, I have, like, um, Final Fantasy 15 Windows 10 Edition, but I'm not sure if I have to get it from, like, the Windows 10 store or what. So 
Oh, I know. That is awesome. Sorry, Bentley. Move out of my way. This was purposely built. Purposely built just for this. And put in all that effort only to tell this is black one. back the grip a little bit but it's on road performance for just racing like holy crap no this is definitely not a drifter but it's definitely a race car that's for sure oh my gosh This car is never bring you over there. So it's in a car that probably was tested and tuned on a number frame. Holy crap. I'm not sure if I had my breath and actually bought the concentrate. My word. That was amazing. I did an amazing job there. You're new to round seven of the Horizon Road Racing Series. I've been looking at your race data and I'm not surprised by this at all. Keep it up. Wait, did I just buy a Porsche caveman only to be given a Porsche caveman to leveling up? I'm telling you, you better come on. My tour guide last week told me about a classic car lying around in a barn somewhere here. Yes, I go on guided tours. What's wrong with that? You surprised how much you learn? Down and get your mini or I'm taking it. Oh crap! Absolutely fine. Okay, let's definitely get out of the dirt. This car was not made for the dirt. See that thing over there? This car here? This was just made to set the lap times. When it stays on the road. Alright, so when it stays on the road, 
it was made just to set the lap line. Oh my gosh. Got that MG running. Let me just finish marking up this event and I'll meet you down there. Does not drift that much. Just has too much grip to like really drift. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Oh wait, I saw that. Worried there that my car might have been too low to get out of like the river. Like, oh boy. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Hold on, I already see the tracks here. Let's follow these tracks. Okay, they split and deviate. One's going this way. Okay. Where was the other path going? much but I need to know where this path goes. We know we'll find the barns every time we find a path. It only makes sense like if you was driving a car out here you have to like basically take it on some type of path or route. And every barn we have found so far has had like a path in front of it. I saw that deviation. Oh, yeah, that's like a course right there. Well, you know what, guys? 
I just realized it's been a long time, so let's go ahead and end this stream here. If you like this, please be sure to catch it again, I guess, on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash click be the best because you know I am. Other than that, you can join me again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 1800 hours for those of you who don't use 12 hour format. Where I'll be streaming more Forza Horizon 4 and hopefully I'll find this bonfire, not to mention my car when it's not dirty and damaged. Looks sweet. I kind of made a hell of a machine here. Other than that, I'm Cliff B and I'm signing out. Bye, Internet.